You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Live fans, we're going to be talking about Deshaun Watson of the Houston Texans. And guys, I think we all, you guys all know how I actually feel about this situation with Deshaun Watson. I do not expect him to play a single down with the Houston Texans in 2021. It's not going to happen. I believe he's going to get on that, that exempt list. I truly do believe that or he will get traded. However, uh, Rhodes put up a video on this also. It seems like Deshaun Watson may be very, very difficult to trade because there's a strong possibility that whoever trades for him may not have him for two years. This year is Zimplis, and I do believe that some kind of a um, penalty will come down on Deshaun Watson from the league. And we know that if he is suspended by the NFL, that if he sits out this season, that doesn't count towards a suspension. And there's a possibility he could be suspended by the NFL for an entire season. So two years, that's a long time. And teams would have to give up a lot for Deshaun Watson right now. But teams really don't want to do that because why? You may not even have him for two years. There's a possibility. Uh, one year for sure. There's no doubt about that. Maybe a year and a half on a good day. OK, but now, guys. The Houston Texans now have released their depth charts now. And Deshaun Watson, guys, you're not going to believe this. Over here on Pro Football Talk, Deshaun Watson lands at fourth string on Texans quarterback depth chart. Think about this, guys. Deshaun Watson on fourth string. Now, we know he's better than every single quarterback on the uh, Texans roster. We know that. Fourth string, I don't think you, he's going to see a down in the preseason. I really don't. I believe he still wants out of Houston. I believe that the Texans are also trying to uh, trade him. But also in reality, folks, he's not playing it down this season. He's lost for this whole entire season. No matter how you spin this, Deshaun Watson is at fault for all of this. He signed a huge deal with the Texans and then he was complaining that uh, he wasn't involved in who the next coach was. And uh, the coach was um, the coach that they hired is David Cully. He wanted to say in that also, you know, he wanted to make sure that the coach is black. They did that, but he still wants out of Houston. And now he has this whole thing with his legal issues that we're not going to dive into here. You guys know that he also did that to himself. And now he finds himself fourth on the, on the depth chart. I mean, they might as well put him 10th because he's never playing it down. But over here on a pro football talk by Mike Florio, it says we knew his status, but there's still something jarring about seeing it in writing. Quarterback Deshaun Watson, fourth stringer for the Houston Texans. Guys, a lot of people believe that Deshaun Watson is a top five ish quarterback. I wouldn't go top five. But he's definitely in the top 10 for sure. He is. And now he's fourth on his own team. On the team's, on the team's first unofficial depth chart of 2021, Watson appears behind Tyrod Taylor, the projected starter, Jeff Driscoll, backup, and rookie Davis Mills. Number three, he is behind Davis Mills. It's over. There's no way, other way to put this, guys. It is over for Deshaun Watson with the Houston Texans. It's over. He has to know it at this point that he's not getting out of this uh, legal situation unscathed. Well, if he gets out unscathed from the legal issues, I'm pretty sure the NFL will drop the hammer on him. But I believe it's going to be a while before... Um, Anything happens with the NFL from what we know still, the NFL hasn't even talked to Deshaun Watson. I believe they talked to the one of the, one of his accusers, if I'm not mistaken. But man, he has like what, 
22, 24 accusers. This is bad, guys. This is really, really bad. And Deshaun Watson with also possible criminal charges laying over his head right now. This is not good. The Texans know it. They may not even be able to trade him. And it says here, the development comes at a time when the Texans have realized they won't get what they want for him in a trade. And that their best play will be to keep him around until his legal situation has resolved to the point that three first round pits and more would once be justified. Not anymore. For now, with all the uncertainty surrounding Watson, no one will make that kind of an offer. Of course not. It is not going to happen. But man, what a fall from grace for one Deshaun Watson. Fourth on the depth chart when we know he's better than all these players, all these quarterbacks that the uh, Texans have on their roster. He's going to end up on that exemplist. And the Texans, they're not going to carry four quarterbacks the entire season. They're going to carry probably three. Now, Deshaun Watson, he's going to have to be one of the three. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how the exemplist works, but um, he'll get all his money. But he won't be on the at the roster. I believe that's the way it's actually going to work. And then if there's any type of suspension, that will actually come down the following season. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white live fans. Deshaun Watson, fourth on the depth chart. And if you told me this a year ago or told anybody this a year ago, they would think you were absolutely crazy. But Deshaun Watson is over for him in Houston. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Live and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.